Hello and welcome to this new Concepsys Document Control Tip of the Month. This month, we talk about document control and engineering control. For industries involving design and construction, engineering documents are key. During the project, for example, during the design and engineering phase, and after the project, for example, for maintenance, operations, and modifications. Two job functions play a major role in the documentation, engineering control and document control. When it comes to creating documents, reviewing, modifying, or updating documents, the engineering and the document controller have complementary roles. Engineering produces documents and drawings according to the scope and constraints of the project, modifies and updates documents and drawings when necessary, checks documentation as per technical and quality criteria. Document control checks the quality of documents and drawings, including metadata, templates, legibility, etc. There are gatekeepers after quality checks. If an error was found, they send back the documents to engineering for modification and they ensure the rules for documents and drawings are followed. So engineering and document control must constantly talk with each other. For this interaction to be efficient, it is important that roles and responsibilities are clearly defined and communicated. Here we have an example of a process captured to explain and define roles and responsibilities for each party. In the example we have here, engineering tasks are shown in green and document control tasks are shown in blue. Engineering control and document control work hand in hand, but these roles are different and executed by different skill sets, engineering and document control. So for us to have a better understanding of our interfaces and to know how we can effectively work with them, let's focus for a moment on engineering control and what activities it entails. Examples of typical engineering control activities which have an impact or an interface with document control include ensuring that documents are checked and approved through appropriate protocols, ensuring that documents are produced with appropriate standards, specifications, scopes of work and procedures, verification of the internal technical consistency of all interlinked documents, Methodical review, incorporation and verification of incorporation of comments. Ensuring that modifications are identified in documents. Management of technical interfaces. Due diligence in the management of change process for technical and project changes. Management of transition between project and operations. Production of a list of deliverables. And key input in for the structure, list of document types, list of disciplines, etc. And for a better understanding of what document control is and what it entails, you can watch our What is Document Control video. I'll put the link in the description below. So we have seen that document control and engineering control have complementary roles and that it is essential that we establish the rules of the work relationships, the roles of who does what and when, and the tools for effective communication. What are your challenges when interfacing with engineering? How do you think we can improve our interfaces with other roles? Let us know in the comments below. If you wish to know more about document control and improve your skills in and around document control, join us in one of our courses, which allow to develop your skills and get your career on the right track. We have different courses, each one designed to accompany you throughout your career in document control. You can find the link in the description below. We regularly release new content on document control. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to hit the notification bell to be notified of any useful new content.